Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. So good to be back here with you one more time. Thanking God for yet another day. Thanking God for the privilege of being able to, to just uh, share His Word and to be able to just connect with you, even though it's by way of YouTube, by way of social media. We thank God for this privilege. Hope everyone is well. You know, I want to I wanna share a word today because I think it is so very important that many of us come to know that we are special. My brother, my sister, in spite of what you're going through, in spite of what you might be dealing with today, I want you to know that you are special. And when I say special, you are special to God. Special to God. Why is that? Because you have been chosen by God for such a time as this. When you look at all of what is going on in society, in our communities, in our families, in our ministries, in our churches, you know, God is, you know, the Bible says many are called, but only a few are chosen. And I really do believe you have been chosen by God. That's why you're led to watch this uh, video today, receive this message today, because God wants you to know that you have been chosen by Him. And just being chosen by Him, that, that in and of itself makes you special. Eternal Father, we just want to thank you for this day. I thank you for the leading of your spirit. I thank you for your amazing grace. I pray, Father God, that you will speak through these lips of clay, words of wisdom, words of life. I pray that your people will be inspired and encouraged, Lord God, to go to the next level. And I ask this now in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Uh, coming to you from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, starting at the 4th verse. The 4th verse, here's what it says. Just as God hath chosen us in Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world, chosen us to be holy and blameless before Him in love. Now right there it was telling you, you have been chosen. You have been chosen by God. I'm not just talking about anybody. You've been chosen by God. I'm talking about the same God that has made the world's world. The same God that put the sun, the moon, the stars in the sky. The same God with a master plan. He's the master planner and architect of everything. And know that you are a part of that. And then he's chosen you to be what? To be blameless, Lord Jesus. We can cast blame upon one another. We can cast blame even upon ourselves because we know there are times in our lives when we're not doing those things that we could be, should be doing that can bring about the greater good. And then look at that fifth verse. God has destined us for adoption as his children through Christ Jesus, according to the good pleasure of his will. Mm -hmm. You are adopted. You're an adopted child of God through Christ Jesus. Lord Jesus. Woo, man. You know what that means? You're no off. You're not an orphan. You're not someone that has been a, abandoned by God. No, no. You're an adopted child of God. And, and you know what that means? That means you are precious in His sight. Precious. Something precious you want to keep close. Something precious is of great value. The Bible, matter of fact, the Bible says we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency and power may be of God and not of ourselves. Man, Whew. I don't know how you see yourself today, but I'm here to let you know you are special. You're somebody special to God. You are someone 
that is special to God. Matter of fact, you are a designer's original. There's not another person on the planet like you never was, never will be. There's not another person on the planet like you. A designer's original. God knew. Mm. Every, he knows every hair on your head. He knows everything about you. Nothing is hidden from God. And God's will is to what? To bless you. See, but if you don't know you're special and chosen and you don't know that God has a divine will and purpose for your life, you will never be able to come to the place where you can receive the blessing. You know, we talk about giving a gift to someone. A gift is something that is paid for by someone else, but freely given to you. Your salvation was paid by Christ, who suffered, bled, and died on Calvary's cross. Shedding of his blood covers your sins. By his stripes, you are healed. See, but you have to be able to receive this gift from God. Matter of fact, Ephesians 1 and 7 says this. Uh, if, no, in him we have redemption through his blood, through his blood, for the forgiveness of our trespasses, for the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of his grace. So what is he saying? I have been redeemed. You have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. <clears throat> we know the blood of the Lamb is Jesus Christ. You have been redeemed by the blood of Christ. Christ paid the price so that we can have a life in God. So that we can find ourselves in Him. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Man. You know, I have a prayer line that I minister on and I tell them every day that I'm on that they are amazing. I want to share that same word with you today. You, my sister, you, my brother, are amazing. You are amazing, and that makes you special in the eyes of God. And until you can see, know, and understand just how special you are. You know why? Because you have been forgiven of your sins. All of us have a past, Lord Jesus, a tainted past, a troubled past, a hurtful, shameful past, problematic, whatever you want to call it. We have to learn how to leave the past in the past and trust God to bring us to a place where we can accept where we're at right now. And whatever changes need to be made in our life, we need to go to work on those things that will bring about the greater good. Now, without a, a, a good understanding, interpretation of the Word of God, you're not going to be able to come to that place where you can receive mm, the benefits of the relationship that God wants you to have with Him and in Christ. To be hidden with Christ in God. Hey, here it is. This is you. Hidden with Christ in God. Oh, man. Hidden with Christ in God. I mean, how can the devil stop you? We, see, until you can know who you are, and until you can come to a place where you understand how precious, how special mm, you are to God. Hidden with Christ in God. Woo, Lord Jesus. Talk about a trio. Mm, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But you're there on the inside, hidden with Christ in God. <laughs> that devil can't break through all that. He's not going to break through all of that unless you drift, unless you fall away. Unless you begin to lean to your own understanding, doing your own thing, you give place to the devil. The Bible says give no place to the devil. 
Why? Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, he come so that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute now. You said that you might have life? Whew. You know what that might means? That you have to make a choice and a decision to not just follow God, but to trust Him. You have to trust God and know that God only wants the best for you. I didn't say what's good for you. He only wants the best for you. He gave you his best when he gave you his son. He gave you his best when he gave you his word. Matter of fact, Exodus 23 and 20 says, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into that expected place that I have prepared for you. God has prepared. Something that is prepared is already set up. You just have to get to that place. Ooh. You just have to be able to step into the step, the setup where you can receive the blessing, the manifold blessings of God over your life. My brother, my sister, you are amazing, and you are somebody special. Whew. Until you can believe it. See, you're not going to be able to receive it until you can believe it. God has so much for you. You've been forgiven. You have. You are the redeemed of the Lord, Lord Jesus. Look at look at Romans five and one. I I just want to share a little something else with you. Share a little something else for you, with you. Romans 5 and 1, and this is the New Revised Standard Version. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You are justified by faith. See, your faith, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Your faith has to come alive. You know, we're not talking about dead faith. Mm -mm. We're talking about faith that is alive in Christ. Faith that is telling me I can do it. Telling me I am somebody. Telling me I am forgiven. Telling me, and I should be saying, telling you that you have been justified by faith. By your faith in Christ Jesus. And because of that, you now have peace with God. Mm, mm, mm. You now have peace with God. You are justified when your faith is in Christ. In Christ Jesus. Are you hearing me? See, so, 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 you know, we, we have a major part to play in this. You know, we want God to do so much. But you don't want to be at a place in your life where you're doing so little and you're not allowing yourself to grow in faith. Faith, to faith, to faith, to faith, to faith. You have to be able, line upon line, precept upon precept, is something about this Word of God. It's something about these challenges we face in life. These obstacles, the good, the bad, the whatever, all of these things are shaping us and molding us and hopefully moving you forward away from that hurtful, shameful past. And if I'm going to bring anything with me from the past, let me learn the lessons that I need to learn so I don't fall victim or prey to those things that I fell to in the past. My brothers and sisters, you are somebody special. I'm going to say it until I end this message today. You are somebody special. I want you to get that in your spirit. you got to get that in your spirit. The Bible says hide the word in your heart. You have to get that word deep down on the inside and know that you are special to God. Know that you are amazing. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency and power may be of God and not of ourselves. Mm, mm, mm. Justified by faith, you now have peace with God through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So don't just make Him your Savior. You have to make Jesus your Lord. 
And when you make him your Lord, that means you're now prepared and ready to go where he leads. Where he leads me, I will follow. When you are led by the Holy Spirit, you will find that true peace. Ooh, Lord Jesus. That true peace that can only come from God. I'm not talking about a peace that will come out of a bottle. I'm not talking about a peace that can come from a substance or a drug or anything man-made. No, I'm talking about the peace of God that compasses all understanding. I'm talking about the peace of God. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that inner peace. And when you have that inner peace, you realize I now have a, a newfound strength. Uh, I have a, a understanding that there is much more to life than what I might be, what you might be selling for right now today. Oh man, there's a peace that compasses all understanding. Oh man, the joy of the Lord is my strength, Lord Jesus. His peace. Matter of fact, Jesus says, my peace I give to you. He gives us his peace. And I'm not just talking about on a Sunday now. I'm talking about every day. I'm talking about he's a 24-7, 365 God. And 366 in the leap year, he's an ever-present help in a time of trouble and in a time of need. What do you need today? What are you believing God for today? God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to be blessed. Look at this. Look at this. Romans 8 and 1 says this. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You are no longer condemned or held back by your past mistakes. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. You don't have an excuse, my brother, my sister. Mm -mm. There is no condemnation for those of us who are in Christ Jesus who walk after the Spirit, or I should say, who are led by the Spirit and not led by or influenced or allowing your flesh to override the things that you would do in the Spirit. Are you hearing me? You see, I, you know, that, that, that enemy, man, he, he wants you to doubt yourself. He wants you to think that you're not good enough, that you're just not strong enough, you're just not bright enough, you're just not smart enough, but, but I'm here to tell you, with the, hope, with the help of the Holy Spirit, if God be for you, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than the devil that is after you. Man, you are special to God. You are amazing. You are chosen by God. For this season, for this season, for this time, and look, look at this, look at this here, uh, look at this here, Romans, Romans 1, no, excuse me, Ephesians 1 and 1 says this, Paul, an apostle of Jesus, of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. Faithful in Christ Jesus. I like what Paul said. Because Paul said, the apostle of Paul, the apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints, to the saints, he's speaking to you today, my brother. He's speaking to you today, my sister. You are called to be a saint, not an ain't. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're nobody's fool. Uh-uh. You were in darkness, but now you're in God's light. You, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. you, 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 you're not held back by your past mistakes. You're now able to step into your greatness. You're now able to assume, let's just say, your rightful place in God. Only when you know who you are in Him. Are you hearing me today? Oh man. You are called not just the saint, but you're called to be faithful. You're called to be faithful. And, you know, and, and, and that can only come about through a, an understanding of this word of God. Not living, or I should say, leaning to your own understanding in reference to what faithfulness is. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You don't want to be self-righteous. You, you don't want to be a holy 
a holy roller, you know, I'm doing everything I can. No, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by God's Spirit. You want to be led by the Spirit, and you want to be faithful to Christ. As God has been faithful to all of us. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. That's what Scripture says. God will never forsake you. He will never turn his back on you. He will never, ever abandon you or throw you away. 1 John 3 and 1. See what love the Father hath given us that we, so that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. The world does not know God, mm, does not know Christ, or care to know. <clears throat> and because of that, they don't even want to know you. But you are loved by God. And because of His love for you, we are called children of God. You are a child of God. I'm going to say it again. You are a child of God. The one and only true and living God over all flesh, over all of, of the world, galaxies, universes. I'm talking about the God that stood out on nothing at the corner of no place and made the world twirl. And it's still turning today. And then he blessed this world. Well, I should say, after blessing everything he's done, he's given it to man, to Adam. And we are descendants of Adam and Eve. And look at what we have done to what he says is very good. Mm -mm -mm. You're looking at ooh, a world that is... Ooh, Fast turning into mm, whew, a place full with problems, diseases, sin, I should say, because sin is what brought about all of the trouble we are dealing with today. And you have to be able to see the part that you're playing in reference to are you contributing to the bad or are you contributing to the good that God wants to do? God want to use you. That's why you was, have been chosen. You have been chosen by God. You are special. You are special. And as I said, you are amazing. Whew. My God. And because you are somebody special to God, know that this is your time. This is your time, my brother. This is your time, my sister, to make and leave your mark. You know, I shouldn't even say leave your mark because if you're still watching this, it's because you're still here. And God is trying to prepare you for next level ministry. God wants you to know that there's still more work to be done. God wants you to know that you're a tool in His hands. You want to be a servant, a faithful servant, someone who was chosen by God. Is called to be faithful servant to Christ Jesus. I want to leave you with this closing thought. Don't allow anyone or anything from your past to hold you back in your present. I'm going to say it again. Don't allow anyone or anything from your past to hold you back in your present. The present is a gift from God. God wants you to live this. You know, so many of us, so many of us, we're either living in our past, the hurts, the pain, the shame, the mistakes that we've made, or you have some projecting themselves in the future, into the future. Now, there's nothing wrong with projecting yourself into the future, but the real deal is you don't want to miss out on this gift, this present day that you're here. You know, the present is a gift from God. And you, and until you can take advantage of what God has made available in the right now, see the beauty that is all around you. Tap into the joy, the love, the peace of God that He's given to us each and every day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. 
This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You have a lot of sad Christians in the body of Christ. You have a lot of hurting folk on the planet. And I'm not going to say that every day is going to be a good day. But you want to be able to say your good days outweigh your bad days. And you can say that when you're in right relationship with God. Key word, right relationship with God. Because we can be in a relationship with Him, but it might not be uh, co fully committed, sold out. I'm determined to go all the way with Jesus. So know my brother, know my sister. Ooh, you are special. You are special to God. You are special to God. And that makes you amazing. Truly, you are somebody. Because God didn't make no jump when he made you. Dear God, dear Father, I pray even now over my viewer. I pray, Father, that you will speak, continue to speak words of life into this, this man, this woman of God, this someone, Lord, you have uh, sent, Lord God, to view this message today. Help us, Lord, to continue to rise up. Help us to continue to keep moving forward. Help us to learn those life lessons from the things that have taken place and transpired in our past. And Father God, I just want to thank you because truly this is a fresh start in a new beginning for someone. And I pray and hope, Lord God, that your word has been cemented in our hearts and that we're now going to be able to move forward and move into that place where you would have us to be. And I ask this, pray this, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you're viewing this today and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you heard something that will cause you to question and ask yourself, what must you do to be saved? Repeat these words after me. And you can step into this new life with Christ. Dear God, dear Father, I ask for the forgiveness of my sin. I believe that Jesus suffered, bled, and died for me. I believe that I'm now forgiven and I'm made new. And I thank you, Father God, for this new life I now have in you. If you said those words, you now have a fresh start and a new beginning in Christ. The best is yet to come. Keep on keeping on. Keep doing what you're doing. And I would, I would please ask you to like what you've seen. If you've heard something that has inspired you, like this message. And then I'm going to ask that you subscribe to the channel. I love you. God bless you. Have a great day. And keep doing what you're doing. Come on back again. Same time, same place, same station. And because this is on YouTube, you can see this any hour of the day or night. Love you now. Have a great day.